Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Hello N M N M. Hello Marius. Hello Sharon. Okay, let's paint a new portrait today. I found this photograph. I like it. It's pretty nice, but it's a little bit darker. Okay, I'm just gonna light up uh, the photograph. Uh, not the photo, I mean, I'm gonna just change the colors a little bit. Okay. Okay, um, start just with uh, white charcoal. And let's, let's start sketching. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm just squinting and trying to see the overall shape. Sorry, you hear some noises. You know, my mom is watching TV, and a, a little guy is just playing outside. <laughs> a kid is playing up outside. Okay. Okay, and, uh, uh, I'm checking out proportions. You know, I always go over the same measurements from the eyebrows to the nose, from the nose to the chin. Okay, that's the canon. Then the center line of the face, which uh, what I used to do is always use a brush and check out and do this. And this is something that I used to do uh, when I was a student and when, uh, when I was painting from life. I check out like, like that and then I move to my, I keep my hand steady and, and move to my canvas and check out it was tilted okay. Another thing I used to do, check out the eyes, move to my canvas and check out how tilted are the eyes, you know, because uh, the structure, they say that the simple structure that keep the eyes, the nose and the mouth is this cross here, this and this, you know, the nose is here, the mouth is here, eyes, eyes, uh, to place the mouth I split this in two. And usually, not always, we gotta check out, you know, because if the mouth is open or anything, if the person has like a longer or mandible, you know, I think in this case the mouth is a little bit down from the middle, you know, from here a little bit down. Okay, what about the nose? There is a, there is a, a structure, a form that is used to draw the mouth, with this one here. pretty common okay we can use we use this to separate the nose the nose in three planes base frontal and one side okay and this little area to rep represent the globella the space between the eyebrows okay hello Sam 99 Sam hello Monique Hello Sylvia, hello Candy, Candies. Thank you. Diane, hello Diane. Uh, I have a question. If I see you use titanium white alone for brightness, is it true that titanium white alone will get yellow with time? Thank you so much. Okay, to be honest, uh, uh, this uh, maybe maybe but I don't know this thing about uh, the oxidi oxidization oxid oxidization oxidization sorry the uh, uh, on the oil paint is gonna happen anyway okay but it's not gonna happen in ten years and more than maybe twenty years and I gotta say something more you know specifically about my paintings. I use titanium white, titanium white by just Winton. Uh, you know, maybe there's not too much titanium for sure. <laughs> okay, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but one thing for sure that if we wanna preserve painting as much as possible, first we should pick up for sure uh, better pigments, 
that means professional grade paintings the other thing that we gotta keep the painting um, in good conditions don't move the painting from a humid place to a dry place and that way you know the canvas doesn't move that much because we we changing you know the paint the painting from one place to a different place with different weather okay now i remember uh i remember somebody uh one of my patrons mary she showed me she showed us to to the, to the class some of some charts that she did where she tried uh, some paints and i remember the only paint that, uh, that she was kind of white after kind of 10 years maybe more it was this uh I, i'm pretty sure it was titanium white but the brand it was something like merdalba mordalba merdalba i don't know it was about the brand okay it wasn't about it was the it was like different brand the different titanium, titanium white get yellowish but that particular brand it didn't hmm. okay sorry i'm putting more doubts about this but that usually happens yeah hello mar okay i got the drawing mm. Okay, I'm gonna erase a little bit of my drawing just with a fan brush. Well, another thing that I remember about that, about using white, I used to work on a restoration studio. One advice, one of many, many advices I got, it was like, don't use linseed oil when you, you know, lay down the last brush strokes with the highlights, or you when you are in too much white to the paint. And it was like, I remember the advice was, the linseed oil that you add, that extra linseed oil you add, is going to yellow, you know, the, the white. And I was like, why? I mean, because white... They usually make uh, whites with sunflower oil, not with linseed oil. Why? Because sunflower oil doesn't yellow that much with time. And I was, wow, okay. But when you paint, you paint with linseed oil. Usually, like everybody paints with linseed oil. Okay, if you add extra, more linseed oil, then uh, for sure that's going you know, mean you adding to the possibility that that paint, that white is gonna yellowish with time. Yep. Okay, I'm going to outline my drawing with just a little bit of rumber. Oh, I didn't mention the colors. Here are my colors, titanium white cadmium yellow, cadmium red, permanent alizarin crimson, cobalt blue, raw umber, and lamb black. Okay, I'm gonna use raw umber. a little bit of linseed oil, a touch, just a touch. Just comparing as much as possible. My first step is measuring. I will try to uh, kind of fit anything that I'm gonna paint any portrait into measurements into the can okay and then now uh now now that i'm outlining 
I mean, I don't see that much, but let's say that out outline in my drawing. It's more about comparison. Okay, it's more about when I say comparison, it's like I'm moving my eyes like crazy from the photograph to my painting. Kind of trying to overlap, you know, both images, like which is impossible, obviously. But let's say that. Okay. Permarba, yeah, Monique, thank you. Permarba. Do you remember that? That occasion? I think it was Permarba, yeah. Hello, Garu. Hello, Nolan. Hello, hello, Abdel uh, Kader from Argelia. Algier, Algier. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Okay, Diane. Hello, Bolly Sucks. Hello, AZ. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with this face? I mean, I love the photograph, but definitely it's too dark. You're gonna find the link to the photograph. I was looking for a lighter ver version, I couldn't find it. Okay, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna light up the color. Okay, and add. Saturation, you know, it's not gonna be just light up the colors, just saturate. What I know what I'm gonna get is obviously values from light to shadow. Okay, and what I used to do all the time, I prepare orange. Okay, and I add white. And here where I change, sometimes, sometimes I use blue, sometimes I use raw umber, sometimes I use black. Lately I have been using raw umber to knock down the color. Okay, the same way that I simplify when I draw, I simplify this when I paint. I got one value. That's for sure that's a light value, yeah? Now I gotta think, hey, uh, about about color. I should make it more yellowish, pinkish, sub-21, okay? Or I gotta knock it down, like, a lot. Or maybe greenish, why not, you know? Yeah. Thinking uh, that I'm gonna add some reddish colors on the face, and maybe, maybe I'm gonna get I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I uh, want to get some contrast, nice, co nice contrast. Hey, why not? Yeah, I can just knock it down this a little bit more. Let's see what happens, okay. Yeah, if at the end it doesn't work, it's gonna stay just between, between us, between you all and me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ben. Store Hello Nita uh, Hello, I'm skipping a name that I don't know how to pronounce, sorry I'm squinting down my eyes and just, you know, painting the lights some comments hello Sarah hello Evelyn from the United States ok 
aqui. Sim. Ok, that's the light. I'm gonna use a different brush now. I'm gonna mix a darker value. Let's start with orange. I knock down this orange with white and raw umber. Okay, is this one darker than this one? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a little bit darker. Now I think it should be reddish, yellowish, what color? Maybe again kind of greenish. Yeah, you know you know what I have I have the feeling that I can co combine on this photograph. I see a little bit of that, even that the image is darker, kind of green and, gr and red, greenish colors and reddish colors on the face. Okay. I'm getting the value first, darker on this one, and then, you know, the color. You know, I knew, basically, kind of new in this condo. I've been living here for the last three months. Well, not kind of new living here, but I know this place for, a lo for like, my whole life because my dad, he used to live here. Yeah, but the funny thing is that there's always a lot of movement. Some, some uh, house just throwing a party. Some kids playing outside. My neighbor's dog just getting into, into the house like every day. <laughs> like, yeah. It's pretty funny. Okay. Hi Sarah, hi Evelyn, hi Michael, hi Anna, Anna T. Sarah, sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. Okay, I started to remember a few things that I learned on when I was working on this restoration studio, and that was pretty. That was pretty good. I mean. I, I kind of forget a lot of information because it's it's like I don't use that information that much. I mean, I'm really sorry about that, about saying that, but or when you practice, you know, it's, it's a lot about observation, a, a lot about knowledge, but it has to do with color theory, with a lot of that. Yeah. And I try to dig, you know, to dig in and information about pigments because when you work in a restoration studio everything is about you know pigments mediums like the top of the top the best quality just to preserve you know the paintings for retouching and all of that like pretty nice yeah for sure it's pretty pretty good yeah I was speaking about like maybe 20 years ago. Yeah, the last time maybe was that I, I worked there maybe was like 15 years ago. And I remember the last uh, uh, when this guy told me once, hey, you don't use the, the canvas you know that you buy on the store. Use a canvas they sell on a restoration store. It was pretty expensive. I never use it. But that's a canvas, that's a, you know, a fabric that they used to imagine that they they have a really old painting and they stick that that painting to a fabric you know and that fabric that's the one that he was suggesting me to use okay, he was like hey you gotta paint on that that's pretty good you know it's made especially to kind of resist a lot of 
weather conditions and it's pretty sta stable yeah, but it was pretty pretty expensive definitely more expensive than any expensive canvas you're gonna find in the finest art store Okay, uh, hello, a, a Seed has a question. I want to start traditional painting. Can you tell me what materials do I need and if I should start with oil painting or acrylic? Okay, hello, Mercia. Hello, Sarah. Uh, okay, yeah, this thing about, about materials, for example, the colors I have here, about colors, is, let's say that's enough. Okay. Now about acrylic and oil paint, different materials means different things about painting, different way to think about dry time, different way about application of the paint, okay, now, uh, like I don't know exactly, uh, I will tell you try both, because you gotta see what's gonna work for you in terms of what you're gonna like, yeah, because you know if you go with like a like uh you know like maybe most people use as a beginner as beginners that would be acrylic okay if you try to go like more like people use when, once they know about paint and they obviously know about art you know and they uh you're gonna go with oil paints uh, if it's possible for you, for you, try both and see what works better for you. Okay, there, there was more about the question. That, okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, about about brushes. Uh, synthetic brushes are pretty good. You know, with with like what well, ten dollars, twenty dollars. Okay, you got a set of twelve brushes. Which I think is a pretty good deal. That's, that's enough. Okay. And I'm not so good about recommending. I got a link to Amazon if somebody wants to buy. Let's say the materials that I used to use. But remember I mentioned that I bought this on Dollar City. I got 12 brushes of this one. For $2. Ta-da! I'm, no, I'm not recommending this, okay? I just want to share this, you know, for, for lay down the paint, I don't need like expensive $100 brush. I'm going to switch for blending to a different brushes, okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, just that, I, I think it's, it's, not, it's just like uh, if uh, buy linseed oil, if you try it, you like it. I used to paint with linseed oil for a long time. Uh, no, no, I used to paint with uh, linseed oil and turpentine, turpenoid, half and half for, for years. And then I switched to just linseed oil. And then now I don't use, like, I just use linseed oil to paint the background, just to go faster, but not for the face. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of laughing, you know. I don't know if you can hear the little boy speaking. I don't want to say what he's saying, but it looks pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Sarah is saying, do you use, do you use just YouTube full-time? Uh, uh, no, full-time, no, just like uh, once a day, let's say. <laughs> For, no, it's just like a, a week, maybe three times a week for two, three hours. No. Yeah. Uh, what I could say that I do most is just, uh, what, pain alone, you know, lessons on Patreon. 
For, for example, this channel I go live once a week. It's not that much. Eh? My drawing channel I, 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 lo I try to go live once once a week too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna continue reading some. Hello, Mary. Hello, Petra. Thank you, Marius. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, we have another suggestion by M Mary. I consider what a mixable oils. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good too, you know. Yeah, you get some benefits from both oils and acrylics. That's what Mary, Mary is saying here. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, and the only thing I would tell you just paint and try and uh, sometimes we are kind of maybe critique. I have heard some people critiquing acrylics, like a little, a little, a little harsh. You know, like saying, "Hey, don't use that. It's just plastic. Who wants to paint with plastic?" Uh, I like acrylics. Yeah. And and don't think like that much about that. Um, if it looks like plastic, I would say, uh, yeah, and, 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 and <laughs> anyway, I'm just I'm going to continue painting with, you know, just basically we do what, what we want. We don't have too many options. Yeah. We should try to use everything that's out there. Yeah, because it was about just oil paints, acrylics. Now what I miss about oil paints, what I color, which is pretty difficult. And what else? Pastels? What else? Pencils? Mm -hmm. Am I missing something? No, I think just that, yeah. Ink? Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be drawing. for a clean brush okay I'm gonna mix a darker color I'm, not, I'm gonna I'm going to knock down this color more I'm adding more raw umber, a touch of white. Okay. I need to step back and check out. Yes. I squinted on my eyes. Even that the photograph is pretty dark. Obviously we can see clearly the values on the photograph. Hello Cheryl, Mary, good morning. Hello Donna, or oh, Donna, sorry. I say hi Renzo, I'm painting acrylic, but I want to switch to oils. Yeah. Hello Dita. Yeah. Dita is saying hi on Facebook. It's kind of the normal, you know, uh, process. We start with acrylics and then we see switch to oil paints. What I have here, for example, so many times that oil paints are pretty good, you know, and basically just for because people that paint with acrylics they have to deal with, 
that the paint dries really fast and when they try oils they and they dry pretty slow they they are kind of they have some kind of relief like you know like hey uh, I just can go for a cup of coffee go, go back after an hour and continue painting I remember when I was a student there was just one teacher that we used to paint with acrylics and in my point of view for me you know he had a really nice nice pretty nice painting uh, and you can you cannot tell the difference you know but you knew that there, there was a reason for him because he has some kind of a, a, a reaction aller, a, a, allergic reaction to uh, to no no not to the oil paints it was more like a kind of the combination of our materials you know because liquid oil turpentine oil and speaking about more than 20 years ago that didn't ex in that time the only way to to wash the brushes that was with turpentine oil I don't remember that ever seeing like an odorless option yeah and he used to paint just with acrylics and the results they were pretty good okay i'm gonna paint the background yeah i'm just gonna use raw umber i'm gonna make everything dark and now i'm gonna use a little bit of linseed oil to spread the paint out on the surface really fast check out yeah it looks like everything is okay hello Ma Makame thank you Don't forget to press the like button, please, if you like it. A little bit of lincid oil. Oh, speaking about acrylics, I got, uh, I have an, uh, another channel where I start to paint. I have like two or three, three live streams where I paint with acrylics. And if you read the description box, that's the link. Now I can see my shadows are not too dark. Let me see. Need to step back. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Well, speaking about values, I need to darken up the shadows. thinking okay <laughs> uh. hello join hello my low my lobby from Australia why are you painting on on on, uh, on canvas but uh, it's a stick to a board and Mary saying, what a color can also produce beautiful portraits. Just need to develop the technique for each paint. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure the more difficult does always uh, uh, water color. Yeah, water color is pretty difficult. Okay, okay. Go back to the painting. Okay, I need to darken up. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush here. Okay, it's too big. I'm gonna just just a smaller brush. Yeah, that's better. Even though the photograph is darker, I can see some greenish colors here and some reddish colors. I'm gonna try to get get those colors, but right now it's enough just with few colors because you know if you notice, I'm trying to get values, you know, light, midtones, and shadows. That's what I want right now, and uh, I get to the point that I'm happy with my values, okay, or closer than what to what I think is gonna be okay in terms of values. Then I'm gonna start thinking about color. Now I'm going to start in a little bit of red. Mm, too much. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this. Paper towel. Uh, AC is uh, one more question. Do you have any suggestion for making college art portfolio? I want to send my portfolio to the college I want to get into. 
Hello, Spring History. No, to be honest, sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so sorry that. Yeah. I don't have an idea. You know, I'm thinking that I, 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 I think I have seen a YouTube channel mentioning something like that. There's a YouTube channel, it's a huge YouTube channel. I think it's a, a virtual instructor. Oh, somebody remembers that? And uh, I'm pretty sure I remember that he was speaking something about that, that he offered something like that. I don't know exactly, but something that it has to do with portfolios or maybe with teaching. I don't know. Yeah, but pretty sure the name is the uh, virtual instruct, instructor. instructor. Hello for what? Okay, you're welcome, AC. Hello, Jana Dragus from Germany. Uh, hello, Joanne. Okay, uh, the darker green. This is too greenish, but I just want to try it. I'm going to see what happens. This green is a little bit different. I prefer this kind of bluish, kind of a bluish greenish.
Every every house here has a dog. Oh no, maybe two houses don't have a dog, but like like it's like eighty percent has a dog. This kind of greenish. Mm. A little bit pinky. Okay, I'm gonna add more cool light. Okay. That's why I add a lot of white to this. A bluish, kind of bluish with a touch of yellow. Okay, let's see. I got a uh, greenish color, cool shadows, cool shadows, cool lights, a little bit more blue. See if I just make it this more bluish. Okay, I'm gonna blend a little bit. And thank you, Sylvia is saying, as a curiosity, do you don't use other mediums usually, for instance, poppy oil or cartamo oil, why? Uh, yeah, okay, I just think that's something that is kind of my, the way I, I am, let's say, you know, uh, yeah, maybe it has to do with my personality. Yeah, I, I kind of stick for gears to the same materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah just just that. Like uh, I I I, I, I want to try more things. Definitely, I will. You know. But if if some if nobody tells me to do it, it's just like I continue just using what I have and painting and painting, and don't think that much about anything more. Just painting with what I have and and yeah, you know. Uh, let's say that I see the result I want, and I continue repeating again and again. Just that, it's just kind of simple. Huh? Yeah. 
and sometimes I try different things they say but they usually go back to the same I shouldn't do that uh, for example I tried what a mix of oil paints and I think they are pretty good you know they are pretty good and it's pretty easy just to clean the brushes and continue painting and and as, as soon as I stop using them I go back to my regular oil paints but I still think that they are pretty good you know but I'm still going back to <laughs> my regular oil paints every time that I go, I'm going to paint and yeah it's the same for acrylics I paint with acrylics and so many times I, I've been told to use some kind of retarded to retard it, you know, to slow down uh, the drying time. But it's kind of I just want acrylics to do what they do, you know, dry fast, and that's it. Okay, I need more shadows. Yeah, definitely. The face is pretty, like, too light. Yeah, I'm gonna add more shadows, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Stephen Harris. Uh, saying, where's my first chance to say how much I love your work? I'm a new member and major fan of yours. Okay, thank you so much. No, money is always welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, he hello, B, B Tour, Abraham, thank you. Malau, Malau B, tell me about your camera setup. Yeah, I got a uh, uh, video camera and I got like some kind of bridge let's say I build up some kind of bridge where I have the camera and the camera is just basically almost I'm almost touching the camera with my cheek you know and that way it's just here and my face is behind the camera just a few inches I need to darken up a little I mean it's kind of simple and uh, this bridge, let's say this kind of bridge is made of uh, there is, I don't know the name in English, sorry, but this is one thing that stores use, in, use here you know, to store things, they put things, it's a, a metal thing, like a structure, a, a metal structure that's been, it's been used in huge stores where they pile boxes on top of boxes and boxes I have that and that's what I use And uh, for example, uh, I'm using this one of these things. I don't know the name. You know, to it go behind the camera because the structure is mid, it's middle of the structure. The camera is pretty stiff and it doesn't move. at my finger I got this just by trying to you know make a window a door here here my son was telling me why don't you hire some somebody to do this you know and it was like I need some exercise you know I kind of just don't do anything the whole day just paint yeah I'm gonna pick up a hammer and I'm gonna throw away this wall and I was doing that pretty good <laughs> the thick of the third day, I got distracted and I hammered my, you know, my finger. It was so painful. And then I said, oh my God, and then I changed my hand and I started to hammer with my left hand. And I almost hit my other finger. I was like, no, 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 no way. I can, you know, I can, I can hit my, this hand all the times I want. Not this hand because this is the hand I use for, to paint. Yeah, that was pretty funny. 
it was pretty painful okay you know but the situation is kind of funny because it's just like show you that like it was like uh, maybe I shouldn't do I shouldn't do this like you know but at the, at the end I almost throw away you know a, a, a wall a, a portion and I almost had a door to a new let's say to a new space that I'm thinking just making a, a room and maybe that's gonna be my new studio I don't know my son was watching the room and was like oh my god I think this could be my room and I was like I, I was just like thinking to myself I thought it was it would be my studio and I was like okay I mean, I can move my setup anywhere, you know. Okay. Mm. darken up here I got too much light values I need to darken a lot of values here Uh, do you use OBS Studio? Oh yeah, yes, that's what I use to to uh, to put the photograph and the text here. All of that, yeah. OBS. OBS is a software. It's free. It's completely free. They you start in your computer, and then you can anyone can do this. You know, put the text, the photographs. David Scott, has anyone famous ever ever bought one of your paintings? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Hello, Wolfpack Studios. Yeah. Da David Scott saying, do you still get the same buzz when you finish something you have created? A joy for knowing you achieved this level of releasing. Uh, yeah, or oh, to be honest, I, I, uh, I feel something. I don't know how, you know, I start to feel something when I kind of like, um, kind of to 80% of the painting, you know, I, I, I feel like, oh my God, it's getting, it's, you know, it's pretty good. And it's pre a pretty nice, nice feeling, you know, you feel kind of rewarded. And the pretty funny thing is that happens every time. <laughs> it's just like you know that happens when we when I draw, when I paint, and I've been doing this for years, and the feeling is the same. Yeah, and I think the feeling is the same because uh, sometimes we don't get that. Yeah, a few times I ended up painting. I feel like mm, I don't like it. You know, it's just like. I think I could do better, uh, but but I gotta just you know it's just what I it's just what I got, and and that's it you know, and the next painting I got something better and then I say wow I like it. Uh, it's not a feeling that is uh, all the time, but definitely it feels pretty nice. And the funny thing is, it doesn't have to do with, with, 
the painting being good for real because I have seen some of the paintings that I thought was pretty good and I was like oh my god I gotta see some mistakes and I've been watching I've been seeing some of my paintings for years and I say wow this painting is pretty, is pretty nice I thought I thought it wasn't you know and when I was a student every time that I finished our painting for me it was like this is my masterpiece like this is pretty good you know and and then the teacher come and said was like hey this is bad this is bad this is bad then, oh my god and as soon as somebody with more experience start to point out mistake mistakes you realize that oh my god yeah i see what he's saying i didn't see it you know i see it i see it but the good thing is like after all the critique you still got the feeling that you did something something you know something pretty good it's just you make some mistakes even when the teacher told, t tells you to you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta fix maybe 90 percent of the paint you think hey they pretty good <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah. that's pretty funny I think all all people that may make things with their own hand, hands, they have the same feel, feeling, you know, about uh, finish up or accomplish something. My love, my love, are, are reminded to take advice from your son. <laughs> yes, for sure. Steve Harris saying, oops, I was saying, I've been sent a couple of emails to inquire about commissioning you for a painting. Does it normally take you some time before I hear back? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to check on my, 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 my email. Sorry about that. Like, as soon as I finish, I'm going to check out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Monique, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, that somebody asked me about somebody famous buying me some paintings. And yes, it's Carol. Carol, yeah, thank you so much. How, how, how's possible to forget about, about her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Carol Ita White, you know. If you read the comments, Monique saying it's from famous, La, from the famous Laverne and Shirley actress. Yeah. Okay, I want to see uh, more clearly the colors on the face. I, I'm going to exaggerate a little bit of the blue the lights I need a clean brush so let's see how much I can push this color I'm just applying this lightly. 
I don't want the full blue, just, you know, look at how intense is that. It just, you know, it's not that, maybe it looks more vivid on my, uh, on the camera. But anyway, it's pretty intense and I want to, I want to see a little bit of that, no, not like the full intense blue. Okay, I see a little bit of that blue. Yeah. I like it. I just gotta just wait. I just wait for my eyes just to get used to this color and after that I decide if I just get rid of that color or I continue adding more. I want to get the, the beauty of the, her face. questions uh, uh, Davey saying if I could achieve your level of releasing portraits I could be charging 2,000 uh, or more for this level okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm gonna change my prices <laughs> Okay, my lab we my lab B is saying I use OBS Studio also on my channel my lab my lab B. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh Dita, good night Dita. Hello Emmanuel, hello uh viral pocket. Her expression. the other eye. The white of the eye is darker here. Make I'm moving the iris a little bit to the right. brush
Where are we? Some more comments. Oh, do you ever get the ur urge to paint landscapes in the background of portrait? Somebody asked me to to add to my portrait, but it's too time consuming to try both. I think. Uh, uh, David Scott is saying is writing that. Uh, no, to be honest, I mean, yeah, a few times. I think I did it. Yeah. Garu George is saying you have a lot of your favorite colors in this study. You should be liking the way it's progressing. Yeah. It just looks too light on the screen. I need to do something to get to regular. But Mary saying if if it ain't broken, don't fix it. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, up, up, and the communities. Hello, uh, Candace saying, I think the blue makes her look dead. Okay, Malawi saying, The day is just turning here on the cold gold coast, 7 30 a.m. Wow, okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the colors. No, I think I got too much light on the face, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue painting and fixing. What I've been doing is just adding darker values. I think I, I got a question that I didn't answer before I didn't answer. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna exaggerate, exaggerate a little bit uh, the pinkish color from the face because after adding this light blue, I get rid of the pinky here. I just gotta paint that back in here too. Try to keep a little bit of this greenish color here and here. Let's see how much I can push the red. If it's too reddish, I need to just to change the color again. Yeah. I like it right now, but uh, as I mentioned before, I gotta just wait. Okay, I always wait because sometimes the first brush stroke that I add usually looks too reddish too intense any color it could be green too greenish and, so, and I continue adding this the color here and there you know start to work because I, I see some let's say rhythm because of the repetition of the color Mm 
mix a little bit of green. more green more blue let's add more blue And just changing the pressure with the brush, I go, you know, I create some blending, some transition. More blue. Let's see what happens if I add more blue here. You know what? I like it. of yellow yeah, I like I like the colors better more now yeah uh, I'm gonna do something about this light blue because uh, it's too light it's killing the skin color I don't, I like it anyway, I don't want to get rid completely of that color, but I need something more. Okay. Okay, what if, what if, uh, let, me, let me think. Now you're gonna pick up a different color. Oh, I need orange. Orange and white. One second, one second. Just checking the uh, more light here, okay? Just one second, just one second. Just one second, I'll be back in just one second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, well, I was thinking about the colors. Yeah, let's. I uh, got here. Uh, oh, I need orange on the palette. 
Okay, I'm gonna mix it here. Orange and white. Now you see the color there. Okay. Look, it looks different here. Yeah, it's just too close to the light. Anyway, the thing is that I'm gonna mix that color on the skin. truck now obviously uh, I can add a pure color or print things saturate the color but as soon as I do this that I'm doing look at what I'm doing I just move my brush some some mixing is happening there okay which is different if I mix this orange and white and just pick up and lay down a brush stroke and leave it there Okay, we're gonna see something like this. Sometimes we want that, but I don't want that today. Basically, just moving, uh, saturating some colors, working on values, making something a little bit darker, adding a cool light at the same time, and uh, warming up this area here. I want a little bit of this light blue. I don't want to get rid of that color completely. Okay, what about expression? You know what I like about the photograph? Color is always beautiful. You know, but what I like about the photograph that was, it was hair expression, you know. Uh, let's work on the eyebrows. to add the highlight on the nose Oh, Dita was asking, I didn't read the question. Why do you use, why do you choose for green and not for blue? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see, I was trying, yeah. Greenish color, bluish color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Davey saying, I think the actual photo is very gray. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm gonna read some questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, Bruno from Belgium. Dave is saying, when you blend Renzo, do you blend to the form or the f of the face and shape? Not just random blending, but in certain directions. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Thank you, Franz Franz Francesco. Oh. Yeah, yeah, when I blend, I gotta uh, usually I uh, I move the brush following the form. Like for example, sometimes uh, I dab the brush. Like for example, I could do something like this. Okay, and and sometimes I go like that. Every time that I blend, I'm kind of pushing or pulling the the paint. Like for example, I notice that this light here is more to the left. 
uh, as I blend I push the light you see okay pretty lightly pretty lightly here so when a soft transition now I need a smaller brush for blending in a smaller areas usually I use liner brushes for the brush liner brush is this one double zero for details I use the same brush liner brush but you know look at the shape it is it has now it's not useful anymore like a brush for painting details but definitely is pretty useful for a brush for blending in smaller areas Squinting down my eyes, trying to see the lights, latest lights, nose and cheek. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna blend a little bit before I continue painting. You know, because the painting is, you know, I will continue. I continue adding paint, adding more details. Like, uh, not like uh, a detail in terms like uh, I'm gonna add a wrinkle here. Uh, in terms like uh, here, for example, in its uh, value. To make this look more rounded here or soften an edge okay or more a little bit darker value here okay I think the hair that is crossing her face adds something pretty nice to to her to her expression. Oops, that was too much. I'm adding just raw umber, but I'm just trying to apply on on the air. Almost not touching the canvas. Thank you, Christopher Jackson, Sarah Bosinski. Uh, I feel like the chain needs to be rounded just a little. Okay, thank you. David is saying you're extremely kind in your help, in your helping tips, Renzo. Okay, yeah, good to hear. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna check out the chain. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it needs to be more rounded. Something. Yeah. I'm gonna blend a little bit more. I'm gonna blend just following this rounded, you know, motion. a little bit of light here no 
know if somebody wants to support my channel you can become a member I think it's just two dollars per month or even one dollar I don't know I mean but this is uh, below the video says join If you join, you're gonna see some. Right now, it's it's uh, one recorded uh, paint lesson from from Patreon. I got some recorded lessons for Patreon. If somebody wants to see more, obviously in Patreon I have I have like four hundred. No, three hundred. I think four hundred would be too much. Maybe four hundred. I don't know. But I had a lot of recorded lessons, and obviously, uh, I got pain alone lessons there, there on Patreon. Today, for example, we have a drawing alone session, and a couple of hours. Fridays we have critiques. No all Fridays, just twice a month. Her pupil is pretty big. Yeah. Her pupils are pretty big. Yeah. And now I see her pupils that are, are that big. That means that she's on, on a really dark place. That's why the photograph is pretty dark. And that's why her pupils are just big like that. You know, that big. I got here yellow and white for the highlights.
Hello, Roxolana. Uh, thank you. If you ever paint uh, freck freckles, freckles, do you do you thin down the color of paint straight on? Yeah, that's a great idea. Thin down the color. Yeah, that's what I have done so many times. Yeah. Thank you, witch goddess. Uh, I am a member of your patron. What size brush are you using for the very small details? Double zero. Yeah. Yeah, hello, which got this. Thank you for being a member. Yeah, I got this new brush. Look at this. This this is nail art. This is used for painting nails. Yeah, I didn't buy. I didn't buy. I didn't buy this one. I found it here. You know, my this is my dad. He used to live here, and he's a painter too. And he left few few things, and I found this. I told him, okay, found some brushes. Say, yeah, use them. I don't want them anymore. But what I usually for sure I don't even know where to buy these ones. I got just a couple. Uh, this is the one that I you know that I use. Double zero. It comes num number zero, double zero, and triple zero. It says Corona, but I don't know about the brand. Uh, it's just like uh, they changed the brand. Mm. Mm. Scrolling up here on the comments, just to see if I have uh, skip a, a question. I have here chrome green, green that I'm going to use now. I like this chrome green. It's pretty intense. I love for this for lights and highlights. Yeah, but just a few touches. Bruni saying looks like a di digital thermometer. thermometer. Okay. Which got this saying, okay, thank you, this is a good little, cool little brush. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely has to do with, uh, when it's about details, it has to do with the brushes, definitely. Yeah. I found uh, these brushes. I uh, remember uh, there is some stores here where people uh, used to go. Um, how, how? I mean, let me try to picture that this on your 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 head. Imagine that you go to a place to a mall. Okay, and there is some some stores that where people go and paint and paint just painting. Okay, but they usually uh, they do uh, they paint figures, not just no canvas, no uh, some some of them on canvas, but it's more like uh, how do you say the name of this when somebody works on craft? I think craft. That's that's the name craft. Yeah, not so sure. Okay, and I saw when I go into because that's kind of. Uh, 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 a mall that says they they sells there are a lot of things and it's just pretty close to where I live okay and I went there and I saw people using these smaller brushes I'm speaking about a long time ago okay and I mean I moved for a different house but anyway it's close anyway because I live pretty close to downtown the thing is that I saw those little brushes, I was like, wow, 
You know, I didn't see those brushes before in our store. And uh, looks like they just used for that. And when I was for me lo about looking for smaller brushes, it was always about the expensive one because that's always what I got when I tried to find like a zero double zero brush. That's the just the best quality brushes and pretty expensive. And when I, I, I saw that in the store, it was, I was like, how much are those brushes? It was like a set of six brushes. One dollar. It was like, what? One dollar? For sure? Yeah. For sure, for sure, for real? I have one dollar here. It was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I bought one. Uh, and then this is the, these are the ones. And I started to just then from that, from there. From that time and nowadays I find these brushes on any art store it's like they become more popular between everybody you know uh, I remember that clearly because every time that I want tiny brushes here in my country just to sometimes buy brushes for watercolor okay they were pretty expensive they were pretty pretty nice Amazing brushes. Okay. Nowadays yeah, we have a lot a lot more to you know, a lot more, definitely a lot more. Do you hear the little kid speaking? You know, I don't understand any word that he's saying, but he used to say, I understand when he says, Mama, Mommy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I think it's getting better, little by little. coming red and white Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh David, uh okay. Saying do you think the red under the, the eye makes her look like she's she has itchy eyes <laughs> or a cold sorry to point out as no 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I always appreciate uh, you know, some critiques. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna check on that, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, which god is it? I have a few makeup brushes that are used that are actually really good for blending on portraits. Eh? Gracias, Leticia. Nilu is saying I need attention. Yeah. David is saying I bet all your family in Aransu has us you to paint a portrait for them. Oh, no. To be honest, uh, you know. I've been told so many times, I have told, I have said so many times that, uh, yeah, you know, first, yeah, I mean, yeah, some, yeah, some few, few, few family members ask me from time to time, but the thing is that I have said so many times that, I have said so many times that, uh, um, my family, there are a lot of painters, my mom, she's a painter, my dad, uh, you know, my aunt, okay, my wife, it's just like too many painters. Yeah. My wife, uh, she's, t she's told me a few times, why don't you paint your daughter or your son on YouTube? You know, and I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm gonna do it. And my daughter is like, don't even think about painting me on YouTube. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And my son is like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna paint my son one of the days because he's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. You wanna paint me? Yeah, that's okay. I need a little bit of this green. Chrome green with white. Okay, remember I got here light blue. I got here light orange. Now, now I, 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 I have here this light green. Okay, I don't want like to get rid of any of those. I want all of them here. All of them are pretty subtle. Okay. We don't see them clearly, but I know for sure that... Oh, let's see, I'm gonna zoom in and... You tell me if you see some of those colors there. Yeah, I think it's, you can see, no, when it's pretty close. Yeah? You see green here? Orange, orange, a little bit of light blue. Now I'm adding this light green. Okay, here's light green too. Okay, you see green here, red. Oh. From a distance, it's just like all of them blend together. We don't see. Uh, the much of like, those colors. Okay. Need to pay attention to the eyes. much light here I 
had a, I, I don't th throw away these brushes and I have a lot of these liner brushes like this you see and they are pretty useful for blending okay let's see I'm gonna add a little bit of red green sorry so here just to knock down the red I don't want to completely knock down the red but definitely I just want I don't want to see that much of the red As soon as we keep, we respect values, we can add more and more colors. You know, you, 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 I mean, you have seen that uh, so many variations here, and we can add, I could add more. You know, like uh, for example, some violets, some purple, okay, or the shadows or light purples. As soon as I respect values, and obviously, from a distance, we read the skin like skin color. We don't see like a combination of all those colors from a distance. Everything is gonna be okay. Speaking about color theory, if I make uh, 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 a lot of white, a lot of white to this green, make it almost white, and I add that as a highlight on the lips, this highlight should glow more than any highlights because we have two things here. We have an opposite color, you know, on the color wheel is green and the base is red. And when we have that, what we have is uh, what we call simultaneous contrast. I speak a lot, a, a lot about that. That creates, that makes the colors glow. Okay. In this case, the the red is pushing the green. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It's possible to see the green on the lips. Okay. You know that everything on the painting is. It's too. It's gonna work from a distance, you know. Uh, obviously, on some paintings, uh, uh, it depends on the painter. You know, we can add more and more color, pretty close. I, I mean, like uh, more saturated colors. What I, that's what I mean. Color, every time that you study color theory, everything is going to be about contrast, contrast and harmony. But remember, it's not like I want everybody to see from a distance that my, the highlight on the lips is green. No, no. If somebody get pretty close to the paint, then then you can tell that there's a little bit of green there. Uh, but when you're from a normal distance to the painting, you, nobody should be able to see the colors there. Okay, that's the idea. Obviously, uh, it's a lot of back and forth trying to get that, you know. That's why basically we do paint and repaint and repaint and adjust again and again, again and again. Okay, 
Like in the shadow, look at how pretty nice that bluish it work, it's working pretty nice. What if I add a little bit of a violet? I have blue, a little and green, and then white. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, the problem is that the shadow is pretty dark. I have to mix a darker color, not white. Yeah. Or maybe a little bit of white that is already on the brush. Okay. I have cleaned the brush with paper towel and with the same brush, just by changing the pressure, I'm trying to blend. Okay, now don't leave that co one color alone, okay? If you, you leave that color alone, it's just, it's not gonna work. Squeeze the color in some areas. Create some harmony. I think that's music, you need to repeat the beat. That's the way to say it. You need to repeat the sound, the sound in order to create harmony, to create rhythm, sorry. Okay. I'm going to pick up number uh, here. This is uh, orange or amber and white. my liner brush oh, here is I'm going to add more hair I like I like the color mm. Mm. Oh, Mary, see, it looks like you, you have a new fine detail brush. Oh, yeah, yes, I mean, but uh, I didn't buy this one. I uh, found this here. Yeah, it's my dad's. I told him, you know, hey, I found a set of brushes. And he was like, hey, use, use them. I don't want them. Here's the other one. Look at that. They don't even have a number, but for sure they are for nails. Nail art. It's not for oil paint. But they work pretty good. Thank you, Spring History. Davy saying, I love the you don't panic as you know the method and procedure. Yeah, basically, uh, kind of follow the book on this color theory on this. Uh, and yeah, remember that one rule, for example, is that you can add so many colors. Okay, first. Imagine that I uh, just have seen you have orange, light blue, light green, okay, but the base color is a skin color. It was pretty simple if it was a light knockdown orange color. Okay, now does the let's say that the one that holds everything together. That color holds everything together. And on top of that you can just you know add more variations, variety of colors, but we cannot lose that color because of that color from the distance we can still read this as a skin color okay now obviously it's not just that you know we can just push that to add more and more more and more varieties of color it's up 21 how much and how much we we can control it's the same for the shadows i add a little, add a little bit of violet I got green, I got blue. 
okay I can add let's say I got cool color let's say I add a warmer color or uh, raw umber with coming red and a touch of orange uh, thus a warmer color I can squeeze the color here okay different temperature but same value okay and, and I'm not trying to kind of repaint everything I just making like all of them live together just like a family there you know I group them just like uh, uh, by light and dark colors you know and then I just put them together in the, the respective play respective 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 in the right trying to paint to put them in the right place like on the shadows on the lights okay how's Davidson are you or are, are you in Peru now or do you originate from Peru no I'm in Peru I live in Lima, Peru. Christopher is saying, I'd love to see some of your mother's painting family sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, I don't know what, how I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I told my mom, you know, why don't you paint? She's, my mom, uh, you know, She's, she's pretty old, but anyway, I mean, painting is painting. You, we can, I'm planning to paint to the last day of my life. No. As soon as I can hold a brush, as, no, I mean, as I, uh, I'm going to still hold a brush, it's going to be enough for me to, to paint or draw. It's not about age, I think. Yeah. And my mom, she, I told her, why don't you paint? You know, I'm gonna just create a new a YouTube channel for you. And she's like, mm, maybe. I know she. <laughs> uh, I know that nowadays she's uh, she she don't she doesn't want to do it. But uh, at least I mean I was thinking to kind of leave you know the idea there and wait for this idea to grow. I love the hair of your face. No, that add some movement. Got blue, I'm gonna add a touch of black. Okay. What if I add pure black here? Do you see a difference? 
and you'll see a difference. It's gonna add a little bit of blue. It's too dark. Yeah? Mm. Just blending. Just move, move my fingers, okay? You notice? I don't move my hand, just the fingers. Now I'm moving the whole hand, you know, from left to right, left to right. Now here, just the fingers. My hand is steady. If I just clean a little bit here. I like this transparent color here. You just take advantage of that and, and the lights with that color. What do you think? I'm trying to take advantage of two things. First, raw umber is transparent and my canvas is orangey. At the same time it's transparent. Okay. Zoom in and try to continue. I see something that's not okay on the nose here. I need to soften this. The mouth, yeah, I think it's okay. Oh, it's pretty nice. During history, saying all colors are listening to him. They obey him wherever he put them. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good. Thank you. What's your cleaning up methods after this tutorial? Is messy or have you got this down to a fine art? <laughs> uh, oh no, I never use uh, gloves. Uh, I don't got too much pain on my hands. A little bit, not that much. I just clean the brushes with tropinoid. Damn, just that. Mm. Thank you, David. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think maybe five more minutes, that's gonna be enough. Uh, oh, David is saying here, that's gonna paint a landscape of Machu Picchu. <laughs> Thank you. That could be pretty nice.
or maybe do a portrait of a local Peru. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea too. Okay, David. See you next time. Okay. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah. Uh, especially what I like is the greenish colors here. You know. Still need to work more. Always on values. That's gonna be always. Okay, uh, since I don't see the head, maybe I should just knock it down here. Oh. Okay, what else? I see something on the nose. Mm. Here, I think I gotta push the shadow a little bit to kind of narrow the nose. Oh, Mary seeing the close up is one eye seems blue on one right seems brown. Oh, yeah, I made a mistake there. <laughs> yeah, I painted this one with blue and I didn't paint with blue the other one because uh, I wanted to darken up the blue first and uh, then I moved to a different, you know, to the nose, I think, and I, I didn't paint the blue. Using a little bit of black, black and white. Okay. You know, black and white look bluish. See some eyelashes. Yeah, I see some eyelashes here. Here too.
mixing black and white again a little bit lighter Just black and white, okay? It's gonna look bluish. It's just black and white. I think that's it for today, yeah? I don't want to see more <laughs> things because definitely I'm going to find some mistakes and I'm just happy right now with the painting. Okay. Uh, I just want to... I want to try to ignore my mistakes right now Okay, that's, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much everybody for being here. Remember to like, to press the like button, to smash the like button. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, thank you everybody here. Okay, uh, thank you for the super chat to Stephen Harris, and at the same time for become becoming a, a new member of my of my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Stephen Harris. Uh, somebody else becomes a member, you're gonna see your name. Like you see, Stephen Harris' name is in green, with a badge to the right of his name. Okay. See you all. Take care, everybody. Thank you for being here. And see you next time. As soon as I, uh, I'm thinking that I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to fix anything, I start just to see things that I should fix. Or maybe I shouldn't, but I just like, uh, like, uh, 
cease or calm down my heart, you know, when at least I, I think I'm doing some retouches <laughs> at the pre end. Okay, that's it. Bye, everybody.